Hi there, my name is Carl and I work as a software developer for RIM. Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple list in Cascades. Let's start by launching Momentix. If you haven't heard, Momentix is the new BlackBerry 10 development environment and it's based on Eclipse. We obviously need to create a new project for our app. So let's start by doing that. Momentix comes bundled with a set of templates to get you started. But we don't really need any of the templates today, so let's just create an empty project. To the left we have our project file browser, and there we'll find the assets folder, currently containing one file, the main.qml. This is the file where we specify our Cascades UI. Since we're building a photo application, we need to add some photos to the project assets. So let's create a new folder called Images. Now let's copy the images we want to use to that folder. To show our images, we need an image view. So let's drag and drop the image view from the component window into our QML. We use the auto format functionality to fix the indentation. We then remove some properties we don't need right now. To actually show one of the images, just specify the path in the image source property. This path is relative to the assets folder and starts with asset without an S, colon and triple slashes. To preview the UI, we can click the preview button. And let's zoom out a bit so we can see the full screen. Now we know how to add and show images. The next step is to create a list. To create a list in Cascades, we need three things. We need a list item object, a data model, and a list view to show it all on screen. The first thing we need is a list item. So let's start by creating a custom list item for our list. Let's call it photolistitem.qml. First, we need to import the Cascades library. And let's just place an empty container here for now. Now let's cut out the image view from earlier and reuse it in our list item. Let's see what it looks like using the split view mode. And let's zoom out a bit so we can see the full UI. As expected, it looks just like before. For a list item, this isn't optimal since it's full screen. So let's add a preferred height of 300 pixels. As you can see, the image is now squashed. To fix that, we need to specify a scaling method. By setting the scaling method to aspect fill, all the available space is used while maintaining the aspect ratio. Since the image is even larger than the available area, some of it will be cut off. Now we need to create a data model for our list. Since we're prototyping, we'll use an XML data model. We start by adding a file called model.xml to the asset folder. Here we start by adding a root node and make sure to close it properly. 
for each image in our list, we have to add an item node. In the item node, we specify the name of the image file. I've prepared the rest of the XML data, so I'll just paste it in here. That's all the XML that we need. Now in the main.qml, we need to add list view. Just drag and drop the list view snippet in, and there we have it. In the QML property window, we can then select an XML data model. Now all we need to do is to add our XML file as the source. To tell Cascades how to show each item, we need to add a list item component. A list could potentially need different list item components, and that's why we use the array brackets. But we only need one, so let's add it. Our list item component should be used for each of the item nodes in our XML model. We specify this by using the type attribute. How each item should look is specified by our photo list item. So let's see what that looks like. Now we have a representation for each item, but they are all identical since our photo list item is not yet bound to the XML data. To fix that, we need to add some dynamic data to the image source. Let's keep the first part of the path. and then concatenate it with the file name from our XML model. Now you can see that all the items in our list shows a different image. Here we have our app running on a device. As you can see, we can now scroll through all of the images using the list we created. So that's all for now. Good luck and thanks for watching.